She is like a heart and a smile with some bone and tissue. That is who Pam is. She just loves everyone unconditionally. She doesn't care where they are in life or who they are, what they dealt with. They need her and she's there. Everybody loves Pam. You know, she's 15 years out from breast cancer. So she had metastatic breast cancer. It's pretty much a death sentence. And people are reminded from time to time that she's not necessarily cured. So people think about this and know what they're working for. I think we do outstanding research. I think we work really hard to make our patients comfortable and happy, but Pam kind of puts it over the top. She puts a face on what we're doing. She, she hugs her researchers and says, don't give up, because if it weren't for you, I wouldn't be here today. Just remember that what you do is so important. She's an enormously compassionate person. I suspect she would be this way even if she hadn't gotten cancer, but that puts a different spin on the whole thing. So she'll come in and remind people from time to time that, you know, tomorrow is another day. The grad students are frustrated all the time. Things are going on, experiments fail, but she has a lot of little sayings. I mean, lots of them that, that sort of come up at different times and just remind people that there's more to life than just working in a lab all the time. Well, I got this feeling that time was running out and time was short, so you better hurry up and do what you're gonna do. And that gave a lot of meaning to my life and it was like, you may not get another chance. So while you have the chance, you do what you can. And it's been a long time and, I, and I'm still here, so I just keep showing up. And that's the most important thing, I think, is you show up and you pay attention and you do what you can while you have the opportunity to do it. What she does for cancer biology is just like Miss Liberty and the Torch. We kind of rally around Pam and she doesn't know it. She was absolutely dumbfounded that anybody thought she was worthy of something like the Commodore Award. I really appreciate all the people who nominated me and wrote the letters and it's kind of hard to read really nice things about yourself, but that was the most meaningful thing to me, just to actually read that people thought I did a good job, and, and um, I don't know, that's just hard. She doesn't do any of the things she does for recognition. It's a little bit of a joke in the lab that she's gonna have to receive this award, and we're not sure how she's gonna make it through that. No, but she does this because she loves people. I just think it's hysterical that she's going to have to stand up in front of a crowd <laughs> of people because right. that's she hates to hates do that. that. She's going to get hives. Y'all need to have medical attention available. <laughs> yeah. um, but we just love her dearly. She's mm. just heart and soul, mm. an incredible, wonderful person. It's just very humbling and a huge honor, and I'm just really grateful.